Listen, everybody. Okay. I have no quiet place to record this video. I have no quiet place to record this intro because inside my son just plays YouTube videos without ceasing. And outside there's planes and traffic and I just can't I just can't find a quiet place. So let's give this a try. I apologize. I just apologize. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Meaty Mama here and it is time for another recipe video. Today we are going to make keto cauliflower mashed potatoes. But they don't have potatoes, so keto mashed cauliflower. And it's a recipe that I found on a website called Wholesome Yum. And I'm just going to be real honest with you, I hate cauliflower, okay? But I want to give this a try. I am I am willing to try things that I do not like to see if I can learn to like them. And so, today, today, let's give it a try. This is what you will need for this recipe. You will need just like five or six ingredients really simple you will need one head of cauliflower you will need two tablespoons of cream cheese two garlic cloves two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream one tablespoon of olive oil two tablespoons of butter and about three to four teaspoons of salt for my son because uh, we're not doing dairy for him and then the rest is looking real frightening right here in this pot all right so let's add the rest of the ingredients we're going to add the garlic that we sauteed I'm gonna put a little bit of that into his as well and let's just dump that beautiful garlic in there so let's also add in our two tablespoons of cream cheese, and I'm just going to eyeball that. Since it's cauliflower, you know, probably the, the more other flavors you add to it, the better, so you don't taste any cauliflower. We're going to add two tablespoons of butter. Earlier I told you that you need heavy whipping cream, but that was totally a lie, and I am sorry. Of course, if you wanted to use uh, whipping cream, I mean, go right on ahead. I'm sure it'll be delicious. There's butter, but I don't think that's enough butter. Let's make it real buttery. And the last thing we need is the salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon. I don't know about that since... Um, I took some of the cauliflower out, so let me, I'm, I'm just going to kind of eyeball how much I think we need, and I can add more. I'll taste it after I mix it. Now, I'm pretty sure that the recipe calls for using like a potato masher, 
Um, I don't have one of those. Or no, it's not a potato masher. It's um, a food processor. I have a food processor that's probably older than my children. So, and it's a pain to get it out and to clean it, whatever, whatever. So instead of instead of using the uh, food processor I'm going to use also older than my children is just my hand mixer all right let's hope that this cauliflower is soft enough two hours later and it still looks like chunky shiz so uh, let me get a let me get a little spoony spoon and give it a taste I'm not um, I'm not a fan of like chunky mashed potatoes I like my mashed potatoes smooth so I mean, it tastes like cauliflower. And it's chunky. I don't know if it's because I'm doing it with the mixer. I've always done mashed potatoes with the mixer and it comes out really smooth, so I'm not sure if the cauliflower is not soft enough. It's, it's going to need some more help. So I think I'm going to add some... I think I'm going to add some garlic, po garlic powder and that heavy cream I lied about and see if that helps. So, just a second. Alright, so, just a second, I'm almost done with this. To this I added heavy cream, lots of garlic powder, black pepper, and more salt. So, give it another taste test. It still looks chunky. I'm using the fork side because I already used the spoon side and I don't want to stick what was in my mouth into the pot that everybody's going to eat out of. Alright, second taste test. That's better. That's tolerable. You don't really get the cauliflower taste after you add all the other stuff. However, I hate the texture. It's not smooth. I've got stuff all over me. Anyways, this, it's not a bad recipe. Um, I would make it again if you're really in the mood for like something that's like potatoes. But to have it something like as a staple, like to make it all the time, number one, Mm -mm. It's just too much work, and I like to keep things as simple as possible. And number two, it just doesn't taste good enough for the effort. So, <laughs> very sorry, wholesome yum. I think it's just because I don't like the cauliflower taste, and I like my mashed potatoes to be nice and smooth. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe please like or don't if you didn't like it maybe you want to dislike it I don't know but I'm glad you were here and I hope to see you on